So in today's video, we're gonna discuss about the opportunity we have as an electronics engineer in this month and in the next month. But those opportunities won't be like you are getting a VLSI internship or job because anyway, you can easily find it out all those internship and job opportunity if you keep on visiting the career site of those companies and also if you are very regular with LinkedIn or any other uh, job site, right? But in future video, I might include those also. But for today, only opportunities which are mostly hidden or which will help you to make your CV more stronger or to give you a confidence that hey you know how VLSI work how electronic circuits work so if you are seeing me for the first time myself Razdeep I am a VLSI engineer and if you like such kind of video then you can consider subscribing to my channel first opportunity today we have and that is today is actually 13 November and only next two days the opportunity will get closed because uh, they have their uh, window open from 15 October to November 15 I am a little bit delayed so sorry for that but what this opportunity is so this opportunity is mainly for the high school and diploma holder VSC and also the first year of engineering guys if you are in second year I am not sure if it is applicable to you but if you know or if you are a first year guy first year engineering guy then please share it to uh, your buddies your juniors it will help them a lot so it is being organized by uh, VSD or called VLSI system design they, they are nice actually they keep on organizing such kind of event so a few months before also they had one hackathon of VLSI I just missed that to inform you all but you can uh, bookmark this site and you, you you can keep on visiting their site so this event is organized by them by IIIT Bangalore and also our favorite Intel so that's why I thought I need to make the awareness and yeah the name of this opportunity is VLSI awareness program and the last date is 15 November so you need to hurry up so there are all the details are there but the main thing is that what we will gain from it and the main things are these things like all the basic things and also the best thing is that lab facilities is also there and the best thing is that everything you can attend via online portal also so you don't need to be here in Bangalore I think they are based from Bangalore only and if you are in your seniors year of BTEC then please share with your juniors it will help them a lot before going to the second opportunity just check you have liked this video and let's go to the second opportunity and the next opportunity is from nail it i'm not sure if it pronounces nail it or not yeah so it is an arm lab workshop and is in association of nptl everybody know nptl i love nptl so nptl is organizing and that's why i can have a trust on them that they, they are doing something really nice so they have multiple workshops here right there are multiple workshops a PG program in uh, VLSI they, they called you can choose any or you can choose many you need to see which dates are there again, again good thing is that all things will be in online fashion they have the lab session but also you can take up the lab using the remote lab facility I'm not sure how they were gonna do but they said they have this opportunity for example if we're gonna explore this one VLSI fundamental and so here you have all the detail about that course uh, everything whatever things they're gonna uh, make you learn and also they have different registration dates so you need to have a awareness of that for example for this one the course start this date is from 4th of uh, December and the last date they haven't mentioned but they said first come first serve so you need to be hurry up and the only thing is that they have a fee also and which is 2500 but I think this is the minimal fees because it's NPTL organizing uh, if it being organized by some other organization might it cost 10 times the uh, price they are asking for you so you just go through the detail and if you find it that it will help you in your career from my side yeah it will definitely but you need to also decide then you can pay it, pay this amount and you can apply for uh, this workshop see this workshop won't directly help you to get a job right but this workshop will definitely help you to build the confidence because I also see like I am working on industry right now right in industry we do many things and I also keep on learning new thing new concepts so now anytime I just read my past courses which I just uh, forgot right I need to keep on remembering those things so anytime for example I uh, read about CMOS design now I find more insight about what they are doing there in CMOS design in the textbook right why because I am working on that things that technology in hands-on so likewise when you do such kind of practical workshop and then again you come back to your textbook then you can get more from your textbook than your other fellow other friends 
and those help you to give your answer more innovatively or more confidently in the interview and you know in interview the main play is the of confidence if you have two guys both have the same knowledge you want to have more confidence than that one guy will get the opportunity than the other so that's the things after that we have the third opportunity and it's really wonderful but before that i just need to remember you and that all the opportunity i'm discussing here i have all the links uh in one space and that is in the description below so you just need to click the first link in the description and you will get all the things which i am discussing here so don't worry so this is the things and that is a uh, space robotics event by isro so it is a robotics challenge you need to have your skill using and you need to help them to build some robots so what are the important dates here so important dates are this actually you have some time it will open from 20th november today is 13th november so it will open and after before that they also have announced the challenge so you need to select one and then you need to apply there are all the details are given you need to go through all of them and the only cons or maybe good things also and that is the final competition would be on site but don't worry it would be on month of august 2024 so it's for the next year so if you got successfully completed the first round then you will get a chance to visit isro center in bangalore i guess and that would be a nice exposure right so if you are in your second year third year and your cgp are good i will strongly recommend you please go through this i haven't got any time to see it in detail if it is a group event or if you can uh, participate individually but i'll give you the links as i said make other people also aware of these things now after these things then we have the opportunities which will help our make our cv strong make our concept strong and those are the heads up for next semester of nptel so in january they will again start their next semester for nptel in, in this january nptel uh, we have lot of wonderful courses are there so let me help you to give the the hands ups or the summary of what are the good courses as a vlsi engineer you can take up so we have first of all the best course which i believe i have taken ever in um, nptel for my vlsi career and that is digital ic designed by iit madras see one thing you need to be clear and that is all the nptel course are freely available in youtube you can take you can uh, take them any time in youtube in your own time that's no issue you don't need to wait for the semester to begin and then to get the access for all the lecture but the important thing is that when you register for the semester then you get the access for the assignment submission and you know learning will happen only by doing the practice only by solving the assignment question so that's why i always encourage you to keep registering for the semester for example this digital ic design which i am talking currently it is available freely in youtube and their semester will start from 22 january next year you have two months if you are free now you can finish the course theory and then you can register for the course take up the assignment submit the assignment give the exam exam would be after four months when the course is done and then if you get 80 percent and more for all of you i will uh, post your picture in my portal actually i have my website also yrd uh, below links is there first click actually you go there only and in my website only i have uh, given all the resources there so in my website i'll have a dedicated uh, tab where i will keep on displaying anybody who get 80 and more percent in any nptel course it's just my way to uh, motivate you to keep on taking those exams and also um, I'll try to send out some gifts for top 5, top 10 as my budget allow me and in last semester also, last to last semester I think I announced that if you are a topper I'll give you some something but I missed it so I'm very sorry uh, if somebody of you have participated onto their giveaway then please comment down or reach me through any any resource, uh, link I will give you the gift which you deserve but yeah for this for sure I'll keep a close look into it anybody and all the detail i'll send as the semester start like how you need to send me uh, details of your mark sheet your photo everything so don't worry but i'm just giving you hands up that hey this semester you need to apply for or register for at least one course and get 80 and more percent and get featured in my website in my channel we might also take some interview with you how to for motivating other students to get 80 more percent so there are many things we can do but 
for that you need to be motivated and you need to take the things right okay so this is the first course and i in my previous video i have said many times so you need to take up this after that so this is for digital engineers if you want to be a digital vlc engineer this course is must but the thing is that you can't take it if you are in your first and second year you won't understand anything for first and second year first you need to take the first part of digital electronics which is also available on nptel right so you can register for any of the digital electronics basics get a certification and after you are confident that hey your basic digital electronics is perfect then in the next semester or any other time you can register for this digital ic design but it is must for anyone as a btech student digital ic design is wonderful as a mtech student also you need to register you need to know these concepts at least after that if you want to be an analog engineer or also for digital engineer you need to know basics of analog right so there are two courses are there uh, not two courses one courses is there which is currently available for the next semester to register and that is this course so here it is a very short course only eight week course and here they are mainly giving the emphasis to the control system because whenever you design your analog circuits you need to also know those control things like pole zero how gains are uh, you, you can control gain then also we need to know about stability nyquist plot if you have taken any control system uh, courses there we have those things but this course is good because uh, we need these things also in analog circuits so if you know nothing then you can start with this Sub, uh, this course as a basic um, tire one for analog circuits and also to give you some complement like to know more about analog circuits and these are basics required for both of you digital engineers also analog engineers also so you need to know these things after this you can also explore this course okay uh, this course is by iit delhi uh, the only thing is that this is not live for registration in, uh, in the coming NPTEL session. But as I said, for knowledge purpose, you can always see them from the YouTube anytime. No issue. For the certification purpose, uh, you can register for this one, which I just mentioned. Right. And also you'll get the assignment. So it will help you to. And for analog, it's very important to solve, keep on solving assignments. And after that. To let you know more about analog circuits in the basic level only, you can go through this course by uh, Rajavi. It is wonderful course. He have two part actually, part one and part two. But as a digital engineer or as a analog engineer in your starting year of BTEC, you can go through circuit one only. It's sufficient, right? And after this, and yeah, learning analog take time because learning analog don't mean you just need to watch it and then done. No, you need to practice it also. That's the most important. And to learn analog, the prerequisite is again little much of your um, network theory, KVL, KCL, RCL circuits. So before taking up this thing, revise those and then you can come here. Okay, after that, if you want to be analog engineer in industry, you are very serious about, you want to pursue that stream and you are on your BTEC senior year and you have some time or you are in your MTEC. If you are in your third year of BTEC, then I won't um, actually recommend you this course. But if you are in your senior year, like only in the fourth year and you have time or in your MTEC, then only you go for this course. And this is, this is your analog IC design, right? And the good thing of this thing is that here they have discussed a lot about stability control system pole zero and as you have done this level one course right or you you'll recall this level one concepts right here so this course will be very easy and it's a long course of 12 weeks but it will be very beneficial if you want to be an analog engineer and as i said and as all know analog have little less opportunity but again analog skill engineer we have very less compared to digital engineer so if you can be a skilled analog engineer you will be unstoppable i also don't know analog much i want to learn so it's very tough but if you can then it is wonderful after that what we have yeah after that we have a very wonderful things and that is about ai like learning the hardware part learning the software part of ai we will also have many courses in our current like next semester of nptl 
But for the hardware side, there is a very wonderful course. They are floating it out. And that is this one, GPU architecture and programming, right? So here they will, but again, it is not for the juniors VTech student, it's for senior year VTech student only, third and fourth year or MTech, especially for MTech, this course is, it's an advanced level course. Here they have deal or dealt with many things like CUDA programming, which is very important. And recently I have made one video here where actually I have discussed some more courses on the AI hardware part. And trust me, AI hardware part gonna be a wonderful thing in future. I also don't know much. I want to explore that. Probably I'll take up this course. I also don't know these concepts. I need to know it. So if you are in your MTech, then register for it and we will learn together. And then let me show you one thing, this link. So here you have all the courses which are available in our next semester of NPTEL. So you can explore it more to find out something which I have missed. Uh, you, you will find many things like this I have discussed like deep learning for the software part of the AI. There is also one course called reinforcement learning which is like advanced advanced level of AI. So there are many courses and PTL is wonderful, actually wonderful. So I'll give these links also, you can explore on your own. And as I said, if you get 80 plus marks, I will feature you for sure. I don't know if you want to be featured or not, but I think it's a motivating factor. So that's why I am telling you and also some small gifts from my side, not to all, but few of you who are top bar, <laughs> just to motivate you. And yeah, in last to last semester, if I miss to give you some gifts, please comment down. So there are a lot of opportunities in India. You can also see this video here. I have discussed that without having Fab Lab also how we have a lot of opportunities in India. Right? And I will see you in our next video. Till then, like this video and keep smiling. Tata, bye bye.